it's me again welcome back to my channel today we're making another wig for another ginger and if you're wondering why i look especially extra today i just finished making a cut crease tutorial for a cosplay makeup workshop i'm holding at a convention in approximately three weeks and I figured I should really get started making that missing content. So here I am, especially shiny and finally looking okay for the camera. However, <laughs> this is not about makeup. This is about another wig we're making. Today's baby is gonna be Asuka Langley Soryu from Neon Genesis Evangelion. I haven't made a wig like that before, so as I go along, maybe this video will be messy because I'm figuring out how I will make everything as I make everything and I just wanted to let you be a part of it because why not? Maybe it helps. <laughs> I don't want to talk any longer and I would say see you in a few seconds. Here I'm back with my cosplay wig. So I've adjusted it on the head. I put a pin here on the top to secure it and on each of these sides like here's a pin and here's a pin so that the wig doesn't slip off while I style. If you're wondering what wig this is, it's from Cosgrad and it's the model Alex in the color Ginger. The color looks a bit brighter on camera because I have a softbox right behind my camera so that the lighting is simply better in here. The first thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the fringe. So I'm gonna clip back these parts and these parts to have free access to the fringe so I can see what everything will look like because actually I don't think this wig will be too difficult. Like Asuka has these buns up here and some up here, some fluff coming from the buns. She has like this swoopy fringe. So I'm gonna start with the swoopy fringe and let's see. The fringe actually has the perfect cut already. We just have to shorten it a little. And then I'm gonna take my hair straightener and bring it into shape and fluff it up a little. Okay, so basically that is the high fringe. Asuka has a little parting in her hair. Like she has the sides here and has a front here. We can do the parting with some hairspray, we can do it with our fingers, however we like. If you like it more natural, then just pull it with your fingers and put hairspray on top. Or you can put hairspray in the front and then pull it with your hair straightener. It doesn't matter, however you like your styling. That's how I would probably like it. Like, I can change up a few things later. I will see how it will work on my head. And I'm very weird when it comes to certain weight styles. And this is a style that is really out of my comfort zone. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna part the hair. So I have some parted here already. I've left some strands in the front because when we pull it up into a ponytail, or into these little tails, the mesh will show through and we want to cover the mesh at all costs. We don't want people to see this is not our real hair. Parting it like that, I have these strands here in the front. And I'm taking a little translucent hair tie. Those are these little things, you can buy them in a bunch. And they look like that. They look like that. And they're practically invisible in your stylings, so that's really nice. So I'm taking one hair tie and I'm pulling the hair through it. You can pull it through several times, it will work. And then you're gonna pull it up and down. So it looks like that. 
And that is basically our first pigtail. She has these little fluffy bits in her hair. We're gonna do the fluffy bits with some of the leftover hair here. And we're gonna cut some of these a little off. And then I'm gonna take some of the front strands we left over and pull them into the gap. So actually, I'm taking another hair tie to fill the gap and we don't see the gap over there. I'm using another translucent hair tie to tie it back again. So as you can see, the pigtail is extra fluffy now and looks extra nice and is standing extra high. With this method, you can go thicker and thicker and thicker, however you like it. Make some beautiful braids. Like, the front doesn't show it too much, so that's really good. So we have one side done, and this is how it looks in the end. The side is pulled back, like you can't see shit here, because we pulled it back piece by piece and we covered all the parts of the uh, mesh from the skin top. We have our floofs, this is pulled back, and we can readjust it however we like. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side here. And I'm pulling it back piece by piece again, through the fluffs again, and you know the story. Okay, so that's it. She's done. I'm gonna take her out the hat now, show it around, and that's actually the base styling you need. She looks like that now. She has the sides pulled back, as you can see here. So that's actually why it's really important to put some sewing pins on those triangles here, so it will always fit. It doesn't slip back when you pull the hair up, because then your wig can be way too small and can fit your head right and you will always see some hair in this area like when i put it here look there's this triangle as well and the hair you have here will show that's asuka from the front that's the other side and that's that that's it you've just finished your asuka wig i hope you like what you've seen i hope you've learned some things I hope some of the things I showed you could be useful to you. I'd be really happy if you stop by next time I upload a new video. If you like what you've seen, I'd be really happy if you subscribe to my channel. I'm recently trying to revive it, to do a lot more tutorials, to make a few more wig stylings, to give you a few tips. If you have any wish on what I should do in my next video, please leave it in the comments down below. That would really make me happy. Leave a like. And uh, also, maybe check out my Instagram. I do a lot of cosplay, I do some makeup looks. I put my name right here. So follow me if you like. I would be really happy if we could make it to like 2,000 followers during 2020. I know it's a big goal. I know I'm not a big person or something, but it's time to say goodbye now, so. Goodbye, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, thanks for checking in, and thanks for making it to the end. Bye!